Hey guys, welcome to this week's three-part Let's Play where I'm going to be playing Kerbal Space Program because I've never actually really played Kerbal Space Program and everyone else seems to have, so I thought, hey, this week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday I'm going to be doing three episodes of playing Kerbal Space Program uh, just to see what it's all about and everything like that. Now, I have played most of the tutorial missions, though I struggle with a couple of them, but I should know enough about the game to at least have a bit of fun for this week. So, uh, I, there's no mods or anything like this installed, I'm just going to go ahead and start a game. And each uh, video is going to be about 40 minutes long, so totaling to about 2 hours of gameplay this week. And uh, I want to start a new game, and I want to start a new campaign. Uh, my new game is going to be called... just Gamerzack, I guess. And it's going to be a career game. In career mode, you have to manage all aspects of your space program. Funds, reputation, and science are all active, and contracts are available at Mission Control. And I'm going to leave it as normal difficulty. I don't know uh, all of these specific settings, but I'm going to leave it on normal, because I don't consider myself a mass or anything like that. And I've never played a career mission. I've only done the tutorials. All right, so let's go ahead and start a new career in Kerbal Space Program. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Space Center. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around, hold the right mouse button to move the camera, or use the arrow keys. Right click over the Space Center facilities to view more about them, and left click when you're ready to head inside. If you need more information, check out the training section on the main menu. Thanks, I've got it. So, I can look around, my space center is looking rather sparse at this point, uh, but I guess uh, we have a few buildings here. Uh, we have the administration building, we have the research and development center over here, we have the astronaut complex, we have the space plane hangar, we have the vehicle assembly building, we have... what is that? I can't see what that is. Uh, this, it's sort of, there we go, uh, mission control over there, and is this something over here? Tracking station, okay. And uh, so those seem to be all the facilities we have. So how do I actually get started? Do I just go ahead and start uh, building things? I don't know, maybe we should check out all these buildings. Administration. The administration building may not uh, seem like a very exciting place at first, but here is where all our strategic strategic decisions are made. Okay, so let's have a look. So we have uh, finances, science, public relations, and operations. Okay, uh, we could have a fundraising campaign. Cannot afford setup costs, not enough reputation. Okay, patents licensing. We also have under Linus Kerman under science. We could uh, do research program, outsourced R&D, uh, research rights sellout. We could make a quick buck for the science of uh, the science the R&D team has collected by selling exclusive research rights. Okay. Appreciation campaign. So I basically can't afford any of this except for bailouts and sellouts. Okay. So I guess that's uh, fine for now. Let's have a look at this next building. Research and development. Let's have a look at what we're doing here. Ah, the tech tree. So we've started here. The technology we started out with. We've got basic fins, MK1 command pod, the flea mystery goo contaminant unit. Modular girder segment and MK15-16 parachute. So let's see, how do we get... Uh, we gotta get science points to upgrade here so we can go to basic rocketry which gives us more rockets and stuff and engineering which also gives us more uh, parts like decouplers and cockpits and stuff like that. Okay, so that seems good. Uh, that's our funds up there I think, the 25,000. And this is our reputation, okay, that's our science. So what's the next building we can check out? The Astronaut Complex? Let's go ahead and have a look at this. The Astronaut Complex contains the living and recreation spaces for all our crew members. New applicants also apply here to be recruited. So capacity 5 active Kerbals. Kerbals can only disembark on Kerbin. So these are our current uh, 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 pilots, I guess. Pilot, scientist, engineer, pilot, scientist, engineer, pilot. Okay. And they have levels of stupidity and courage. Okay. Uh, so high stupidity, low courage, that's not really useful actually. Uh, John Bus Kerman. Uh, currently we've lost zero, assigned zero, and we have four available pilots, I think. No, it's uh, Jebediah. Oh, these are available for pilot, engineer, science, pilot. Okay. 
Uh, these are the four which are available. These are applicants. Oh, so we could approve applicants, I guess. Um, low stupidity and high courage is probably useful. Gleason Kerman. Is this how not enough Huns to hire? Oh, next hire is 65,000. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and uh, how about this building over here? Space plane hangar. The space plane hangar allows construction of spacecraft designed to be launched from the runway. Okay, so this is going to be one of the space bu uh, spacecraft building facilities. Ah, there we go. Welcome to the space plane hangar. Hello, I'm Werner von Kerman, chief rocketry engineer. This is the space plane hangar. Here is where we build spacecraft that later will take off from the runway. On your left, you'll find components to construct your own space plane. Select a starting part, then attach others to it to build. You can then have a look around with the right, mu right mouse button or arrow keys. And we just got this place cleaned up, so try not to mess it up too much. If you need more guidance, uh, check the training menu. Okay, got it. That's fine. So that's where we build uh, space planes to take off from the runway. And then before I go to the main space plane hangar, I, I want to have a look at uh, a couple of these other buildings. This uh, mission control. Max active contracts is due. At the mission control facility, facility, all available contracts can be managed. It also offers very nice view of the launch site for those who are brave enough to be so close to launching. Okay. Welcome to mission control. Please make a selection. Okay, so these are basically our quests. Uh, active, we have set altitude record of 3,500 meters, distance record of 5,000 meters, speed record of 150 meters a second. And we currently have... Uh, some some missions here launch our first vessel escape the atmosphere gather scientific data from kerbin and orbit kerbin okay so this seems to be a nice start for our missions here let's see launch our first vessel shortly after a somewhat worse than average accident a group of clerks from kerbin world first record keeping society made a weird point about how we were making very little progress towards finding out if we truly didn't have any goal in mind now we need your help we'd like to officially start off the space program with a bang a very controlled bang preferably prestige is trivial expires in two days five hours and 57 minutes objectives launch a first vessel off to the launch pad or the runway to achieve this goal okay so we get an advance, we get reward for completion, and we lose money for failure. Okay, I suppose we can accept that contract. And uh, that's launch our first vessel, and we can also try and escape the atmosphere. So let's see, a group of clerks, uh huh, are confident about whether they're not confident, no idea, zero G was really awesome as it seemed. Granted, the way we would so frequently see an unintended ignition was quite clearly part of the reason, be that as it may. As you've probably figured out at this point, this is why we're here. Administration says we legally cannot call ourselves a space program without actually going to space. <laughs> okay, so breach the atmosphere by flying a vessel to an altitude of 70,000 meters to achieve this goal. Okay, I can accept that contract as well. So I think we can only take two at a time. That's right, so we've got to launch our first vessel and escape the atmosphere. And that last one uh, had a pretty nice reward as well. Set speed records also had some nice money re rewards here as well. And also, uh, the stars are our reputation. Okay, good. So, we've got some missions. Uh, how about this building here, the tracking station. Uh, at the tracking station, all ongoing missions can be viewed and focused. Landed craft can be recovered from here as well. So let's have a look at what's in this one. Oh, this is actually a, a space view. Welcome to the tracking station. Hi again. This is the tracking station facility. In here you can view all of the solar system as well as the current positions and trajectories of all ongoing missions. When you have missions in progress, you'll see them listed on the panel at your left and you'll be able to take command of them from this screen. Sometimes contracts may require specific destinations in orbit or on the surface. Those will also be visible here. Lastly, if you want to see the same map view during flight, just hit the M key. Okay, got it. So currently I have zero of everything, and this is going to be the view of everything in the solar system. Okay, so currently we just have to get something out into space. That's fine. And I also missed out one building over on the far distance here, which is the launch pad. The launch pad is where vessels built at the VAB are launched. We are reasonably confident it is safe enough distance from everything else. So we could enter it, but there's no uh, vehicles from the vehicle assembly building. Okay, 
and we do actually have the runway. At the runway, spacecraft built in the space plane hangar have a long flat surface to reach takeoff speed. Conceivably, such aircraft could even land back on it. Okay. So, we got none of those as well. And we can check out the Vehicle Assembly Building. The VAB is where spacecraft are designed and built before being moved over to the launch pad for flight. Okay, let's enter this. Now, we should actually get to building our first uh, uh, spaceship, I guess. Now, what do we actually have on us? We have a few things here. Not all that much. Utility, we have the parachute. We're going to need that. Mystery goo containment unit. Uh, let's see. So we're going to need an MK1 command pod. So let's uh, place one of those down. Okay. So we're building our first official uh, spaceship here. So we've got the flea solid fuel booster. And we're also definitely going to need, let's see, aerodynamics, basic fin. I'm not sure if we're going to need that. We're going to need a parachute, definitely. So we've got that. And uh, let's see. How do we... We gotta put a new stage here, so we actually have the launch of parachutes separately. And, uh, oh, we can actually see our contracts from here. Launch our first vessel, set altitude record of 3,500 meters, distance record of uh, 5,000 meters. Uh, a land distance. Okay, so we gotta land far away, I guess. Okay, I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough uh, fuel to actually uh, get uh, us off the ground. Can we actually... Put a second one down there, maybe? Is this all costing money? I'm not sure. It does actually cost money, okay. So, this doesn't look all that safe. Perhaps we could, um... We don't have any decouplers at this point. Actually, no, that, that since we don't have any decouplers, we can't actually, uh... Was that? We can't actually do this. We're gonna need to do something like this. Uh, let's see what we can do here. How do we, uh... We could, uh, put one of those there, and actually no, let's put that there, let's, so we can actually do this. Okay, so let me take that off, uh, let me take this off. Now what was the, there was the, I'm sure there was a button around here somewhere, the, the interface looks a little different from the tutorials. Center of mass, center of lift. Root, rotate, offset, place. Oh, okay, I see. Now, there was a place to make this, uh, a button to make this, uh, symmetrical. But I can't seem to find it right now. Oh well. Uh, we basically just have to have something that will actually fly. Uh, so we could do that. Um, I'm not sure how much it's gonna take for us to actually get into space, but, uh, oh wait, there we go, the angle snap. And we have the symmetry mode. Ah, I see. Okay, so let me uh, get rid of this. If I take this off, and we do this, that might get us off the ground. I'm really not too sure. <laughs> it doesn't look much of a spaceship, but I guess this is a good enough try. Let's name our spacecraft. Okay, this is gonna be the four-pronged probe. Okay, that's what we're gonna call it. And crew. Do we have a look at our crew here? Uh, parts with crew capacity. We've got Jebediah Kerman in there. Hopefully you don't die. Uh, you are a pilot though, so you should be okay. Okay, back to parts. I don't think there's anything else we can actually put there. We do have the... Now, I've forgotten. Does it run one first or zero first? I think it'll run zero first. So we do want to launch all of these things. Let's see, if, if I split this up and I put, uh, get the, f oh. Let me try this. I'm gonna launch the four first and then once we're a bit higher up, we're gonna launch that one. We don't have any decouplers. Okay, I, I, I've never actually built a spaceship uh, outside of, uh, uh, outside of tutorial, so let's see if this works. Center of mass seems good. Okay, center of thrust seems good. And center of lift also seems good. Center of lift, oh, it doesn't actually show. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's try launch. Now, I hope I set this up correctly. 
We're gonna find out, though. Okay. Focus on the four-pronged probe. Jebediah Kerman, hopefully you don't die. And, uh, let's press spacebar and see what happens. Um, oh, wait, it's not pressing spacebar. Spacebar is to go to the, the next uh, phase, isn't it? We're supposed to press uh, shift. Oh, I've actually messed this up. <laughs> oh no, oh no, no, this is not, no. Uh, apparently it goes bottom to top. Uh, sorry, Jebediah Kerman, I think you're gonna die. Uh, maybe not, maybe not. We have, we have... Are you safe? Jebediah, Ka Jebediah I think you're actually okay. Uh... No, you're not okay at all. Not at- wait, no, actually no, you didn't die. The- the- that was- that's still intact, I think. Okay, so I- th I'm not sure- I think I put the order in- in- in the wrong way there. Uh, yes, staging, docking, no, it- it was under staging, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's recover the vessel. Does that count as launching our first spacecraft? I'm not too sure, uh, but let's find out. Um, recovery of a vessel that survived the flight, one data data value gathered, plus five science. Oh, good, good. Um, science earned six. Okay, good. Parts, we've got uh, funds, I think, we, for that. Two parts, one resource recovered at launch pad. We didn't get all of our uh, uh, stuff back, but we did actually earn quite a bit of funds from that. Our funds are now at 49,000. That's pretty good. Okay, next. Uh, total reputation, we got two. Yes, and Jebediah come and gain some XP. So, uh, four-pronged probe debris. We could fly it, we could recover it. Let's recover it, I guess. Okay, and uh, we should check. Did we actually... Mission control. We actually launched our first... Uh, 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 spaceship. Good, good. <laughs> now we need to actually get into, um, uh, uh, we need to get into space though. So we could activate another mission here. Give us a quick crew report before launching. It's fine if any of the, uh, let's see. This is, uh, gather scientific data from Kerbin. Kerbin's world first record keeping society. A group of clerks visiting Kerbin World First Record Keeping Society felt pretty uncertain about whether nobody here seemed to be able to tell if we possibly had no clue what to do next. It's true, though, that the amount of times... Uh-huh. Give us a quick crew report before launching. It's fine if any of the lights on the control panel are flashing. Just give it a swift click. Uh, swift kick. Okay. Recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. Okay. Let's accept that. We okay. Completion is 61,000. Okay. Good. And we actually have some science points here, so let's go to the research uh, department. We could get basic rocketry, which will have uh, reliant liquid fuel engine, fuel booster, fuel tank. Or we could go for engineering, which has a uh, new cockpit, uh, science junior, communitron, stack decoupler. That, uh, the, the decoupler might be useful. Actually, uh, I think I'm gonna go for Engineering 101 here. And there we go, we've got Engineering 101. So, let's go back to our uh, spaceship here. The, the decoupler is gonna be handy. I'm gonna put that there first. Now we have the MK1 cockpit command pod. Second generation cockpit, this is equipped to ensure survival of some of the worst conditions possible. Extra reinforcement has slightly increased weight. So if, uh, or is this for... Can I actually launch this out from here? I'm not too sure. No, this might be for the... The other, the, 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 the... To take off from the... The runway, yes. So let's, uh, let's find the decoupler. Where's the structural? decoupler we can now do this and we can then put down an engine here and we can put this let's see we can put this here so we can actually decouple it and actually let's uh put a decoupler are these expensive 400 we've got money put a decoupler there 
So we can actually decouple it. Okay, so... Um, now, we definitely need to split this up. Now, did it run from bottom to top? I'm not too sure. I... Uh, I think it did? Well, we're gonna find out this time. So, let's see. If it's bottom to top, we're gonna need to put this at the bottom. Uh, let's, uh... Let me see how this works here. That's gonna be... Okay. So this... needs to go down here. And this one will go... After it, I think? This will be... We're gonna launch this first. So we're gonna put that there. Actually, we might as well launch these together. Then we're gonna decouple it when it runs out of fuel. Then we need to... Put that there. We're gonna put... This here. And the parachute goes last. Okay, so... Uh, I'm not sure whether it launches bottom to top or top to bottom, uh, but we will find out very, very soon. So let's go ahead and four-pronged probe V2 here. And let's launch it. Okay, now I'm going to remember to rev the engines first before launching, and we're going to find out if as soon as I press spacebar, are we actually going to just um, launch the parachute here. Let's press spacebar. Oh, we're off. Looking good. Let's uh, turn on SAS here to stabilize ourselves. Now let's see how far up we're actually going to go. Did we actually run out of fuel already? All right, let's do that. And I'm not sure whether this... We're only at 10,000 meters. We're nowhere near <laughs> the, the altitude limit here. But uh, we've, we, that definitely went much better than the second one. Let's decouple that. And we're left floating with just the cockpit and uh, the parachute, I guess. So I guess, actually, we reached quite a high altitude here, 25,000 feet. I'm not sure how far we actually have to go to escape the atmosphere. I can't remember. But let's just... Uh, Warp a bit faster here. See how high we actually make it. 34,000? 35? Hey, we actually did not bad here. And will we reach... And we're dropping again. Okay, so we're coming back down. We're not going to get the distance record on this, are we? But let's slow it back down here. And once we're below 20,000 meters, I'm going to deploy the parachute. Is the parachute deployed? Shoot destroyed by aero forces and heat. Oh no! That is... No! Okay, are we going to land in the water? Oh, did I... Ah, I, I might have uh, deployed it too early. Maybe I should have deployed the parachute later. Please don't die, Jebediah Kerman. You're going to land in the water. Let's hope you're okay. Um, here we go. Uh, don't die, don't die! Did you die? That didn't sound so good. Oh no. Um... Well, I set the altitude record and speed record and distance record, I think. Maybe? Jebediah, are you okay? Um, flight results. Catastrophic failure. Ah. Uh, let's, uh, I guess we revert to launch? Let's revert to launch. Does that mean Jebediah is still alive? I'm not too sure. We'll find out. Okay, we still have, okay, we do actually get a redo. <laughs> okay, it's Jebediah Kerman there. So, let's do that again. We're gonna rev up. Let's uh, launch ourselves. Now I'm going to have to uh, release the parachute much later, I think. So there we go. Let's decouple that. Launch the next bit. This fuel does really run out very quickly. Compared to what you had in the tutorial. And look how shaky this stuff is. Let's decouple that. And whoa, we... we... 
I didn't turn on SAS, so we, we sort of... Uh, well, let's speed up the game here. Now we're heading back out into space and whoa, let's uh... We are not stable at all. So we achieved a shorter altitude than last time. So now let's uh, fall back down and I think below 10,000 meters we actually uh, deploy the parachute, I think. Maybe. Okay, here we go. We've actually stabilized. So we're actually falling relatively smoothly here. Let's deploy the parachute. Still de destroyed by aerial forces and heat. How do I... How do I stop that from happening? Is the parachute really that bad? Maybe I gotta wait until we're even lower, like below 3,000 feet. Is this a good point to deploy a parachute? But this is gonna end up in catastrophic failure. <laughs> Sorry. Let's um, let's let's try that again. I guess maybe. I'm gonna try that one more time. Turn SAS on. Let's uh, launch this. Maybe I gotta have it like a, a jet to slow my descent. I'm not too sure. Decouple that. Launch again. I'm gonna try the parachute one more time, but deploying it below 3,000 meters and see if it still burns up by aero forces and heat. So here we go. Just gonna go up as high as we can. And when we start falling, we'll see if the parachute actually works this time. So we are reaching 34, 35. To get into orbit, we just need to go a little bit further, I think. If we actually look at this map view here, yeah, just a little bit further and we can actually get into orbit. But we're starting to fall again now. Now, when it reaches below 3,000 meters here, I'm gonna uh, deploy the parachute because we're coming back down here. Let's slow down the game so we don't get surprised. 8,000, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. Deploy the parachute. Did it work? Did it burn up? And I think it worked. Deploying just at around 3,000 meters is where we need to go. Okay, we've learned something today. And this is gonna be a successful mission after a few retries. <laughs> so, just a few hundred meters to go here. And you should not die from this, I'm pretty sure. This is a nice slow descent. And we didn't go that far from the base, actually. So just come in for a nice slow landing here. 100 meters to go. And you didn't blow up. Fantastic. How wonderful. Okay, so that should have uh, given us some, some stuff to work with. Status operational, wheels are running. Okay, good. So, uh, how do we... There we go. Let's uh, recover vessel, I guess. Ah, our first successful mission. Well, kind of. The, the, the one before that was, uh, was okay. So, we've got uh, one data gathered. Basically, we got one science from that. We've got uh, the parts back, I think. Look at our funds, 164,000 now. And crew, Jebediah Kerman, no XP gained because he didn't do anything new, really. But we got 30 more reputation. Wonderful. So, uh, do we have... We got 1.8 science there. Let's check. Did we actually... Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. We need to set an altitude record of 70 kilometers. Okay, set speed record of 1,050 meters a second. Now, okay, wait, how do we gather scientific data from, from Kerbin? Recover or transmit any scientific, science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. Do I need a transmit for that? <clears throat> I'm not too sure. But we have to escape the atmosphere, which is at 70,000 meters. Okay, good. And we still haven't set the distance record of basically going five kilometers off, off to the side. Okay, so 
We're going to do this one more time, but we're going to add more rockets, I guess. Okay, so we, we need to go higher. So let's just take things one step at a time. We're going to add uh, another row of boosters here. Engines. That should get us where we need to go. Now, how are these arranged? Starting from the bottom, then we decouple, then we launch these, then we decouple, launch that, decouple, parachute. Okay, good. So, uh, let's see, we also want to go a bit of a distance on this one. So, four pronged probe, V3. Let's launch this. All right, so this should do slightly better. Now, how do we actually transmit data? I think that there is a way of doing that. Crew report. You record the crew's assessment of the situation. Okay, good. Transmit data. No comms device found. Cannot transmit data. Okay. So uh, we probably have to wait till we recover the vessel. Anyway, let's rev our engines up. Let's turn on SAS. And here we go. Launching the first round. And this time we're looking for 70,000 meters, which is somewhat double of where we were. Let's decouple that. Launch the next round. And we also want to try and go a slight distance. Let's decouple that. So let's tilt over to the side and launch this final one and try to add a bit of distance here by just sort of tilting our spaceship. Let's decouple that and oh, we've lost a bit of control here. And I'm not sure if that's actually gonna get us where we want to go. How far does that go? It should throw us off quite a bit of distance though. And we're definitely higher. We're at 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 50. Not quite into orbit though. I think we're going to start dropping soon. We're at 55. Yeah, 55,000 meters. Okay, so again, but we do have the distance, definitely. So I think if we head straight up with maybe a few more rockets, we're going to be okay. But here we go, we're coming back down. We want to try and uh, stabilize ourselves here. Not like that, but when we get below 3,000 meters, we're going to want to uh, deploy the parachute. Let's slow the game down. Okay, here we go. Six, five, four, three, and about here. We deploy the parachute and hopefully we don't die. And I think that worked. We're still a little shaky here. There we go. It's stabilized. Okay, good. So we can speed this up and we'll come in for a nice gentle landing. There we go. Didn't die. Jebediah, you're fine. Good, good. So let's recover the vessel then. And we, we did record some science report there. Did that count? We've got 13.5 signs. Look at that. Crew report from Launchpad. Five data gathered. Nice. Um, that's 1.5 science. 0 0.1 science from recovery of the vessel. Got our funds back. Look at that. We have 300,000 funds now. And no XP gained. Okay. But that should have uh, counted towards... Yes, we, we managed to... Uh, Oh, distance record of 100 kilometers, speed record of 2,500. We've been getting these money from completing these challenges, actually. But next we have to orbit Kerbin, which is uh, going to be something we should be able to do. Achieve a stable orbit around Kerbin. All you need to do is throw yourself at the ground and miss. <laughs> the chief bookkeeper passing by Kerbin's will first uh, feel pretty certain about whether it seemed unacceptable. Zero G, uh-huh. Okay, so we need to sort of get into uh, someone out there into orbit, which I think we should be able to do. Uh, we do have more science though, so let's go ahead and go to the science center here. We can... 
Ooh, there's survivability. 15. Okay, we're going to get basic rocketry here. So that's going to give us the Reliant Liquid Fuel Engine, the Hammer Solid Fuel Booster, and a new fuel tank. So let's research that. And we can actually get... Can we afford anything else? No. Survivability, stability, and general rocketry is still slightly out of our reach. Never mind. But let's go back to building a rocket. I'm going to build one more rocket for this part because I want to try and get into orbit. And for the crew, I don't want to send Jebediah Curran because he's sort of a our most experienced pilot right now. I'm going to send Valentina Kerman out there because I don't know if you're coming back from orbit. Now, let's see what we got here. We got the command pod, fuel tank. That might be handy if I put that there first. We're going to need... Hold on, we got to turn on symmetry here. Putting a fuel tank there should give us more fuel to, to work with on that first launch. And actually, we probably need to have liquid fuel engine solid fuel booster ah we can replace all the fleas with hammers that should actually solve our problems so let's uh take all this and we're gonna have hammer solid fuel boosters then we need to put these then we gotta put more hammers So that should be good. And then we need to put another decoupler. And we can put more hammers. Now this should go pretty far, at least much further than before. I'm not sure if we should have any liquid. Although criticized by some uh, insignia so-called pieces fine like Uh-huh. Reliable. Compared to this, the liquid fuel is much less mass. Thrust. I think the liquid fuel is generally better, but uh, I think the solid fuel should get us quite far. Okay, so let's see, we're launching those, decouple, launch these, decouple, and a parachute. Okay, so this should definitely get us, let's see, uh, thrust. It, the, the hammer is much better, but maybe it's still not quite enough. I'm not too sure, but I don't really want to Make this structure any more unstable. Perhaps if I just take this and I put a Let's see liquid fuel engine if we put a Put a fuel tank there and then we put a liquid fuel engine there and We can decouple that there we go. Let's try this. Okay, four-pronged probe. Uh, this is going to be the four-hammered probe. V1. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Let's hope we don't die. Oh, it's too heavy. Okay, so unable to launch. Maybe if I just get rid of the... The liquid fuel, will that actually be okay? Four hammered probe, can I launch this? Okay, four hammered probe V1's total mass is 33.75 tons. It needs to be 18 tons? Ah, damn it, these are just too heavy. Maybe if I replace these with uh, the fleas? Will that be okay? So if we're launching this, decouple, launch those. Is this okay? Wow, these hammers are just way too heavy. If I take all of these off and just have hammers, where does it actually show the ton, the tonnage of this thing? Mass, cost, size. Oh, this is just filtering. I'm not sure where it shows the tonnage. Oh, these are all. Oh, these are all the contracts I've completed. Okay, let's just go through these while I'm here. So we've gathered scientific data, set distance record of 39 kilometers, 28, 17. Oh, that's why I got so much money. I, I set all those records at the same time. Speed records, launch our first vessel. Okay, that's fine. 
So, um, how heavy is this? Can I launch this? I just want to see how far this takes us. And it's still too heavy. Huh. Okay. So I guess I can't do that. If I... Let's take this off. Let's, uh... Let's see what we can do here. If I put that there. And liquid fuel. And then we put a decoupler. Maybe the liquid fuel will get us further than we need to need to be. And we got to put in another engine here. And maybe we can then put in four pronged probes, uh, four prongs here. Actually, that's yeah. There we go. Four prongs here, and we're just gonna try maybe put the fleas. Is this going to be okay? Can I launch this? Okay, I can launch this. Okay, so let's see how good this hammer and liquid fuel is actually going to be. So let's rev the engine, turn on stability, and launch. Here we go. I don't... <clears throat> sorry. I don't think we're going to achieve orbit on this one here. Oh, why is that lasting so much longer? Oh, is it actually the the fuel tank that's burning? I think it is. Is that... Oh, no, that's actually the hammer. That's why it's lasting so much longer. Okay, let's decouple that. And let's launch this. Liquid fuel. And liquid fuel doesn't seem to get us all that far. Let's decouple that. And let's see how far we actually get in terms of this distance. I don't think it's going to achieve orbit. Definitely not. I wonder how we improve the amount of tonnage we can have on our spaceship. We definitely need to to do something about that. This only reached 30,000 uh, meters up into space. Hmm. We're going to have to do something. How do we... Let's slow the game down. Did I just, uh, let's keep the data. I just asked my crew to, to record data. That maybe it'll get us a couple more science points. But we didn't actually achieve any new objectives here. But I think we're doing okay. Now, we're below, we're just about at 3,000 meters here. Deploy the parachute. And here we go. Make a nice soft landing for the last few hundred meters. There we go. At least Valentina Kerman, you should be able to uh, uh, get some experience from this. Here we go. 100 meters left. Please don't die. And you're okay. Wonderful. So let's recover the vessel. Now, how much did we get from that? Money actually shouldn't be an issue though, because we've actually made quite a lot of money. So we've got, ooh, 4.5 science, nice, we've got 12 science now. Oh, 13 science actually. 12 science from that mission, I think, maybe? I don't know. But let's see, we've got our parts back, and crew 1 XP gained Valentina Kerman. So good, good. Actually, does that XP actually do anything? Can we actually, uh... Flight at Kerbin 1... Log, stability assist... Oh, these actually have different, uh... Okay, that's good. Okay, so, I think we've gotten off to a generally good start, but we're not in orbit yet. But, uh, this is, uh, gonna be the end of the first part of my three-part Let's Play. I think we're, uh, we're doing okay. We, we haven't, uh, done anything too horribly wrong. We just need to figure out, uh, what else we can do. I think we've, we've gotta do a bit more research here. Uh, let's see, stability, maybe it's got something to do with, uh, I'm not too sure, uh, how to increase tonnage, because I, I, I can't just strap a whole bunch of, uh, rockets on, because it won't allow me to do that. Oh well. Anyway, that's the end, uh, of, actually, let, let me just have a look at this. Oh, there is a lot more to do. 
Okay, uh, so yes, uh, that is the end of uh, episode one of my three-part Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'm definitely gonna go two more parts here and see how far we can go. I don't think we're gonna get too, too far, but uh, it's gonna be fun anyway. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.